Hey, Chan Carter here with ChanCarter.net and LearnHallLens.com and creating a project here using ProBuilder. So we'll let this thing create. All right, so Unity's loaded. And what we're going to do here is actually bring in the asset store. And we're going to open up ProBuilder. ProBuilder was a paid asset. And now it is part of Unity. So, and this is actually, it's part of Unity. You can grab it for uh, Unity 5 or 2017 or the beta 2018 uh, that's out as we record in this video. So we'll this package import. All right, we'll close out the asset store window. And now under tools, you'll naturally see we have a pro builder. We also have a dimensions overlay. We won't be digging into that, but that's kind of a neat thing you can say show. Uh, but you can see the has a little about window. And inside of pro builder, uh, what we're going to be clicking on this pro builder window. And that's going to bring up the editor that we want. So before I actually bring in the pro builder, what I want to do is actually save my current layout. I'll just call it LHL for Learn Hall Lens. And now I'm going to create a, a new layout. So first I'm going to actually bring in the Pro Builder uh, editor window called Pro Builder window there. And I'm just going to start dragging this all the way to the left. I'm going to make a totally different layout for if I was building something. So I'm just going to drag the hierarchy over here, the project over here, and uh, move my console window a little bit further down and bring my uh, game up underneath the scene so they kind of share the same space. And I'm going to scale down my assets so that I can uh, see everything in full text. All right, so now that I have it the way I want it, I'm going to hit Save Layout and I'm going to just call this Pro Builder. And this will allow me to switch between these two layouts uh, however often I want to. So most of the time I'm working just straight in, you know, the, my current environment. I'm going to pick LHL. Uh, but if I'm trying to build something, uh, then I want a little bit larger uh, scene area to work with. The first thing I'm going to click on is this new shape tool. And it's going to bring up a uh, thing where I can actually pick a bunch of different shapes if I wanted to. And that drop down for now, I'm just going to leave it a cube and select my dimensions and I'll start off with five seven and three yeah, actually I think I might make it a 10 by 3 by 17 I might make it a little bit, little bit bigger actually so 10 by 4 by 17 I'm gonna hit build cube and now it's actually made my room Now what I want to do is actually select this cube. I'm going to select the faces. You see the little toolbar up top. I'm going to select the faces. I double click on the object to select all my faces. And then I'm going to select this flip face normals. I'm going to go back and select the cube or the object uh, from my top menu. And now I can see inside of the room itself. Now it's dark um, inside the room because of course it's kind of killing the sunlight. And I could actually change the light in the scene uh, by clicking the little light up there to 2D. Uh, but what I'm going to do is actually bring in a light, a point light. So let me position this light in the room. And pull it up here to the ceiling. All right, so I want to actually kind of make a hallway and connect it to another room. There's several ways you can do this. I'm going to select this edge selection. And that uh, box at the top there is only visible when you actually have a pro builder item open. Uh, but since I have the edge selected, I can select that insert edge loop, which makes this little green box that I have here. Now I'm going to uh, select the same thing again and say insert edge loop. And uh, and now that makes me uh, just as part of the wall. I hit Control E to extrude, and then start dragging this down the opposite way to make it this corridor, make this hallway. Now 
now that I have the hallway where I want it, I'm going to extrude one more time. And now I'm going to uh, bring out my uh, walls here uh, to actually make a room. So hit Control E again to extrude. I kind of drag that out. I'm going to go select the opposite side of the wall and do the same thing there. Uh, making sure I'm still in face mode. I select the face, hit Control E to extrude, and then pull that uh, back out. Now I'm going to select all three of these faces here. And once I have them all three selected by holding Control, I'm going to hit Control E to extrude. And then I can just drag uh, these all out uh, to make uh, the next room. I'm going to select the uh, object again. And now I'm in this object uh, view. I'm going to copy this light since the other room is dark. And I'm just going to duplicate the light and then drag it on over to the other side um, of the hallway into the other room. And so right there with very little work, you actually have a, um, a room that's set up. And again, this has texturing built in. I'm not getting into all that. Uh, but hopefully this is enough to interest you to actually download this free tool. That was a fantastic tool before, but you just had to pay separately. Uh, but obviously Unity acquired uh, the tool and brought it and made it available uh, for, um, for everyone that uses Unity. But I hope this was beneficial, and I would like to know what your experience is with using the Pro Builder. Well, I hope you have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next video.